sisters, God is good. We have already entered the third Sunday of our Lenten period. And the word of God for this Sunday is inviting us to put our trust in God. Dear brothers and sisters, to understand the message of the word of God of this Sunday, we need to have the image of a dry land. I'm sure that all of us will have experienced a dry land and we know what happens when in the garden there is no rain. We are going to hear from the first reading of how the people of Israel asked for water in the book of Exodus chapter 17 verses 3 to 7. When they lacked water, they turned to Moses and they started lamenting. And God had to intervene by telling Moses to get the stick that he used when they were crossing the Nile, to use the same stick and strike it on the rock that they got water. And we are going to hear the same message talking about water still in the Gospel the Gospel according to John, John chapter 4, verses 5 to 42. Here we are given the example of the Samaritan woman. The Samaritan woman meets Jesus at the well. And it is very interesting to see how God reveals himself through the example of the Samaritan woman. We see that God reveals himself to the person he wants in various ways. And there are steps of God revealing himself. We see, first of all, the Samaritan woman is seeing Jesus as a stranger. Jesus says, give me some water. And to a Samaritan woman, this is strange. She says, you a stranger, how can you ask for water? But very soon after, she's going to recognize Jesus as a son because Jesus is going to talk well with her. And at the same time, she is not only going to recognize Jesus as a son, but we see this person who has been a stranger is now a and is now becoming a prophet because Jesus is going to tell her of the marital relationship she has. We see that you go and call your husband. She will say, I have no husband. And Jesus is going to say, for sure you are right, you have now the fifth husband, that one there is not your husband. She will now understand that she is talking to a prophet. But soon after, she will see Jesus not only as a prophet, but she will see still the image of this Jesus being a Messiah. After now telling her that I will give you the living water. Jesus is now becoming for her a savior. We see how God can reveal himself and God is revealing himself to the Samaritan woman in her conditions. She is going to leave her water jar at the well and she will go to call the people that come, I have seen the Messiah. We see that for us to meet God, we need first of all to put down our water jar. Those are the troubles, those are the problems, those are our current situations that we need to first of all abandon and then listen to the word of God. And when we listen to the word of God, we need now to welcome it, just like this Samaritan woman, and we have now the mission to go and spread that mission. And this is interesting that we are getting from the second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 to 2, and then verses 5 to 8 in the second reading, we see that God is there to save us all, given our situations. We need to know just of all that God came to save us. And this is what we are called for in this Lenten period. We need to come to God and leave Him, reveal Himself to us. As in the Lenten season, we come close to God. And when we come close to God, we abandon our sins when He reveals Himself to us. We know Him and we turn to Him and there we shall be assured of His love as we are called to 
convert and get ready to turn to God and this is the message that we can have. Let us pray dear brothers and sisters that this message of God may help us to get converted and come to recognize Jesus and come to recognize God in our life, especially to know the moment that we need to meet him, the Lord be with you.